Good Tuesday. We're on a meatloaf adventure. Yes, meatloaf again. We're winging it. I'm taking a little bit from the carnation meatloaf we just made, but we're going to try some McCormick today. Seasoning. And we have two pounds of beef. <laughs> two pounds of beef, two eggs, a half a cup of finely chopped onion and green pepper, our carnation, 12 ounces, that's a cup and a half. The original recipe called for two cups of soft breadcrumbs. We've got two and three quarter today. We're also going to make a TV dinner using vintage tin foil TV dinner tray. Sadly, I've not been able to find the four compartment so we could make a chocolate brownie. But we bought some little chocolate brownie bites. Let's stop yapping and let's get cooking. Don't forget to shake this. And whatever doesn't fit in here, well, maybe we'll put it in a grab-it bowl. This is ground chuck. A lot of people say to use lean ground beef. Betty Crocker, I think, says to use chuck. That's what we're doing. We're on a budget. I am a little hesitant to use this. But we're gonna! One. Did your mom make you get your hands in there? My mom did. Let's, uh, let's get this pack in. Whoa. Someone on Amazon got very upset that there's brown sugar in that. Whole can, cup and a half. That looks better than it did a couple days ago. Two and three quarter cups of breadcrumbs. That's like four slices of Publix bread. Soft crumbs. We're going in. Oh, this is the best part. Oh, start with the eggs. Break the eggs. Oh. I can't change the, the angle on the camera when my hands are full of this crap. This is better than last week. But it's still too soupy to form into a loaf, which is what I want. Mom, I'm making meatloaf. This looks good to me. Last week's was pink slime. You could pour it. I'm excited. dark carrot syrup. Quarter cup. Ooh. I don't think I want to put more in here. Oh! I'm gonna poke it around the sides. A little bit left over. I may put this in the fridge, maybe bake it later. This will make a meatball. One big meatball. I'm gonna bake this for 20 minutes before we put the glaze on. Two, one. Ooh, that looks better already. Cool. All right. Let's get some glaze on there. Back in the oven. Oh, it's hot. Whoa. Look. Center it rack. Ooh, it's so exciting. We'll check it in 40. 
Oh, heat in the face. Got a lot of liquid. Oh, it looks pretty. Ooh. That looks yummy. It's soft. No, 132. 154. That's a neat 160. All right, she's going back in another 15 minutes. 15 minutes at least. Oh, there you go. All right, that's another 15. Oh. Oh. Might help if I turn it on, idiot. I want to get it out of the pan so it can wash the corningware and this can cool on a plate. Oh yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. We got to wash this. There's a lot of grease in there, baby. I want to try it. This slice pretty well. I hadn't planned on eating it today. Oh, it's it it's I like the texture. Whoa, sticky. Let's see what McCormick seasoning tastes like. Wow. That's weird. It tastes good. It tastes good. It still needs salt. I didn't think I'd have to add salt. Let's just try one more bite. It's very good. It's very subtle. This is going in the fridge. We need a little sauce. I don't know. We need a little sauce for our Meatloaf TV dinner. We need some tomato juice, some tomato sauce, a little ground beef, and we've got some onions and green peppers. You can put anything you want. Garlic? I'm not up for garlic. But what we're going to do when we're done is strain it. Because the sauce in the Meatloaf TV dinners was pretty much just sauce. There might have been a piece of onion or a green pepper here or there. We might put a couple of pieces into the sauce. Mostly just sauce.
I've got a little, couple of little, there's an onion and a couple of green peppers. I'm gonna stick this in the freezer just to solidify before I wrap it in aluminum foil. Okay, let's cover it with foil. It's solid enough. Back in the freezer, lunch tomorrow. I am actually very nervous. Let's expose the tater tots. Tater tots. All right, we're going in the oven. It's very exciting. Very exciting! Whoa! A minute to go and I'm freaking nervous. Three, two, one. Oven's off. Let's do it. Oh! Ow! Ow. Ooh. Oh, it's steaming! Look at it! I gotta get a... We need a thumbnail. This was my favorite TV dinner. I loved the Salisbury steak, but I loved the meatloaf more. Oh, they look nice. The tater tots look nice. Meatloaf is kind of small. It's got the sauce on there. Sauce has nice thickness. Let's start with the green beans, see if they're cooked. Green beans! TV dinner green beans! Oh, oh. Yeah! They said their green beans were in seasoned sauce. Mine had butter. We'll try a tater tot. Tater tot's gonna be hot. Oh, broke apart. That's okay burn my mouth. Tater tot. Oh my god. <laughs> Crunchy. This is why we're here. Oh, it's got good texture. It's not too soft. Oh my. When is the last time I had a Swanson's meatloaf dinner? I know. It's a bird's eye tray. I know. Here we go. Mm. It brings back memories, I gotta say. Mm. Oh, it's fun. It touches a memory nerve. I, I loved their meatloaf. It's probably why I like meatloaf and tomato sauce more than anything. Thanks for joining me this Wednesday. Mmm. Can we dip a dip a tater tot in some tomato sauce? Mmm. Last bite. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. Oh, that would have been bad. I almost forgot, man. Mommy, I need a glass of milk. I almost forgot the brownies. I wish I could have put a brownie in the middle. We got our glass of milk, Mommy. And we got our brownie. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Totally. Get your greens. Don't use your fingers, tater tot! Last bite now. I said it before. Thanks for joining me this Wednesday. You know what I'm gonna say? What am I gonna say? Thanks for watching!
Mm. Mm-hmm. 